my first save um, was super nerve wracking because it was against the Yankees my rookie year. And Balfour, who was our closer, was down that day. I believe he'd worked probably three days in a row so they came to me before the game and they were like hey if it gets to then you're gonna have the ninth and i was like all right i'd been in the big leagues for like a month at this point and i was like i was i was just like okay like i'm just happy to be here um and then like the ge- and then the game starts the game you know progresses and i'm i'm watching the scoreboard following the lineups and you know around like the sixth or seventh inning you start to try to envision who you might have in that ninth inning if things kind of stay the same so you're you're like all right i might i'm gonna probably face this chunk of the lineup and you might get the at that time there was a binder in the bullpen that you that had all the scouting reporting information now it's an ipad um and i'm i like flipped it open and i was like i forget the exact order but it was like I have it, it was here. Like, it's a crazy. It was, <laughs> it was like was it Cano, uh, A Rod, Andrew Jones? Uh, a Rod, Cano, Teixeira, Andrew Jones is the four batters yeah. you faced in your first save yeah. at the some... stadium in a one-run game. It was at the Coliseum. It was at the Coliseum. Oh, it was at the Coliseum in a, in a one-run game. A two-two-one, I believe, was the score. And I think I think A Rod led off with a hit. Yeah, same. Um, yeah, it was this weak, broken bat, like bleeder to left, and I was like, "All right, so maybe like I still have my good fastball." It wasn't like a solid hit. I was like, "All right, I think I, I might be able to figure this out somehow." <laughs> and then Cano was next, and I was like, I felt pretty good about the left-on-left matchup, and I was like, I got him. And then Teixeira, I was like, he he was like one of the guys. Him and A Rod, especially in that lineup, just had like a presence in the box that I remember just being like, it was kind of like a welcome to the big leagues moment. Um, and I was like, gee, like these guys are just next level. And and I've been watching these guys on TV for the last several years. And as like a fan, I'm like well aware of what they're capable of doing and what their <laughs> you know careers have been like. And at some point during the to share at that, A Rod stole second. Probably because I was super slow to the plate and still am. I I think I got him looking, which I yeah. was I was kind of, I was kind of like, what do you what were you looking for? Like a fastball in like a different spot, maybe I don't know. <laughs> well, A Rod took had off a, on him. Maybe A Rod distracted him. Maybe. Oh, okay. That was strike three. Okay. Maybe I don't know. But then and then I had a long battle with Andrew Jones for the final out, and I was like you're going to have to earn every single bit of this. Like if you're going through the teeth of this order with just these names and these guys against the Yankees, my, my mom's side of the family are diehard Yankees fans. And we've converted some of them to nationals fans after the world series, but they still, they still, they're from North Jersey. They're still very much Yankees fans at heart, I think. And, and um, so for me, like being growing up, hearing about the Yankees and, and constantly having to be on the opposite end of the family bragging rights and stuff. I was like, it had to be this way. And, you know, Jones is battling, he's fouling off high fastball after high fastball. And I was like, I'm going to have to earn every single bit of this man. Like all thousand of these home runs combined that these guys have in their (laughs) career, I'm going to have to find a, a way to, to get through this, but so it was, it was extra special, uh, to, to nail that one down. 